everyone. It's Miss Kathy here at Sturgis Public Library. I'm just a little bit early again. Today is, what day is today? Today is Tuesday. It is March 16th today. Tuesday, March 16, 2021. And since it is Tuesday, that must mean it is preschool story time. Oh, my clock says 10 o'clock. So let's go ahead and start our preschool story time with our opening song. Before I start that though, I decided to wear my mask today because it's so cute. It's green and it's in honor of a holiday coming up tomorrow. I will be talking about that holiday and talking about why you want to be wearing green tomorrow. So if you want to tune in for toddler story time, great. But let's start preschool story time. Here's our song. Zoom, 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 let's start our story time. Zoom, 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 we'll sing and play and rhyme. If you'd like to come along, join me as I start the countdown. Zoom, 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 let's start our story time in five. <laughs> let's see if I can do this today. Four, four, Three, two, one, blast off! Let's try that again. My fingers and my brain weren't connecting. Let's do our song, start it all over again. Zoom, 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 let's start our story time. Zoom, 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 we'll sing and play and rhyme. If you'd like to come along, join me as we start the countdown. Zoom, 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 let's start our story time in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! That was so much better. Okay, let me see. I have someone watching. Hello there. Now, today we are going to do poetry. It sounds like a big tough subject to do but it's not poetry is a lot of fun and I gotta put my glasses on because I want to read to you the reason I chose poetry for today is this Sunday coming up on Sunday March 21st it is world poetry day all around the world people can be reading their favorite poems telling people their favorite poems writing some poems so for world poetry day I found out that Poetry is the ultimate playground for words. That's po what poetry is. It's putting words together in a fun way. With poetry, you learn, mm, I don't know if this is gonna work. You learn rhyme and rhythm. You get to match up words that sound the same. You get to do the rhythm, which kind of makes it sing-songy. You learn to hear the syllables in a word. Like, my name is Kathy. So if I was going to count out how many syllables are in there, Kathy. When I say it, it's two syllables. Kathy. But if I say Tom, there's only one syllable. If I say Sierra, Sierra, there are three syllables. You're counting out the syllables in the words. And there are a lot of syllables in poetry. You are going to learn the sounds that all those letters make, and you're going to learn sentence structure, and you learn new vocabulary words. You might hear some words you've never heard before. Poetry is great for creating pictures in your mind. When you hear somebody reading something and you don't see a picture, you can imagine it in your mind. Experts in literacy and child development say that children who know eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nursery rhymes, mother goose rhymes, by heart, by the time they are four years old, they are usually among some of the best readers by the time they turn eight years old. So, learning all those nursery rhymes is not only fun, but it helps you become a great reader. So we're gonna start our poetry day with two of probably the most familiar nursery rhymes there are and if you look at my board you will see I have one of the nursery rhymes we're going to tell on the board 
Here's this path that goes up the hill and there's a well to get some water. Do you know two children who go up the hill? Here they are, they're Jack and Jill. Do you know this nursery rhyme? If you do, say it along with me. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Did you hear the rhyming words? Jill and Hill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Do you know what happens to them? Oh, I'm gonna remove these guys because I have Jack. Uh-oh, I gotta say it all over again. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down, there he goes, all the way down to the bottom, and broke his crown. I think it means he hit his head. And here's poor Jill. And Jill came tumbling after. There she goes. Oh, and here is their pail of water. What do you think happened to that pail full of water when they got to the bottom? I think they, it all emptied out. Oh, poor Jack and Jill. Can you say that nursery rhyme with me again? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Did you notice when I said it the second time, I was going back and forth, swaying back and forth? That's part of the rhythm of the poetry. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. That's where I get my rhythm. Okay, I have another nursery rhyme I bet you know. It's about an egg. There's going to be some colored eggs coming up very soon for a holiday. So I'm gonna put up this one. Do you know that nursery rhyme about an egg called Humpty Dumpty? Let's see. Can I get this a little closer? Not really. Here is another nursery rhyme that you might know already. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Do you know that rhyme about Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. I'm gonna try doing some clapping with this one to do the syllables. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. <gasps> we were clapping out the syllables to that. Some of those words had one syllable. Some of them had two syllables. Some of them had three syllables. Oh, you know what? It's a great nursery rhyme because it has easy rhyming words. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. You're going to repeat Humpty Dumpty again. Had a great fall. There's our rhymes, wall and fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Well, you know what? I have, oh, all these, <laughs> they're gonna fall apart on me. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Move that over. I'm gonna bring my table in, maybe. Because I want you to see my bucket of blocks. I have duplo blocks in here. Do you have any blocks that you like to build with? These are kind of loud and noisy. Well, I have this whole big bucket of blocks. And I did something with Humpty Dumpty. I wrote the words to Humpty Dumpty, uh-oh, on my blocks. 
Now, this is with the dry erase marker, so they'll wipe right off. And I'm looking in here and seeing that I've already wiped off some of my words as I was taking the part. A fun thing you can do if you have blocks at home, write the words to the poem, to the rhyme, on your blocks. Now I have Humpty Humpty. Does our rhyme say Humpty Humpty? No! I'm gonna look in my blocks and I'm gonna see, can I find <gasps> Dumpty? Now I have, here we go. Humpty Dumpty. Do you remember what happened next in the poem? Humpty Dumpty sat on a, uh-oh, I'm gonna have a hard time because these, these words wiped off on my, what I was picking them up. Oh, there's together, there's kings, we're gonna need kings. We're going to need the Humpty Dumpty. Oh, not yet. Oh, there's another Humpty. I have another Humpty and a Humpty there. There is together. Let's see. Ooh, there's another big one. Oh, Dumpty. I'm going to need Humpty Dumpty together. So I'm going to put a Humpty Dumpty there. <gasps> sat on. Oh, I think we're getting there. Humpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on, let me put it together here. I'm gonna back them up so you can see them. Humpty Dumpty sat on, uh-oh, I need a wall. I have Great Fall, that's not what I need next. I have a wall. Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. What comes next? Humpty. Dumpty. Oh, great fall. But I have some words that go in between there. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty. There it is. Had a. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. <gasps> oh, the kings. Do you know what I need next? Oh, that one says couldn't. That one says horses. All the kings' horses. Do I have an and? Oh, there's kings. Oh, and I have men. And I have and. All the king's horses and all the. Do I have another? Yep. Kings. Couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, look at that! Using my blocks, I put together a nursery rhyme. Except you know what? It's upside down. I have to change this. Otherwise, it's not going to read right. I'm going to be reading it upside down. So I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to move them so I will be able to read it correctly. Uh-oh. I need an extra one. Oops. extra block. I need a blank one. I didn't bring a blank one over. So I'm going to have to hold it. 
like this because I need a blank block down there. Now I've made my nursery rhyme. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Except I put it together backwards. Sat on. There we go. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great ball. All the king's all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And I built my nursery rhyme using my blocks. Maybe you have some of them at home and you can try that. See if you can build a nursery rhyme. Okay, I'm gonna move this back again because nursery rhymes aren't the only thing that are rhyming and rhythm and syllables and sentence structures. Did you know every time we sing one of our songs at, at a story time, we're also doing poetry? Do you have some favorite songs? I have this cube and I have some of our favorite songs that we might know on here. Here's one. If you're happy and you know it, do you know that song? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And then if I turn it this way, oh, the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Here we have a star. Do you know a song about a star? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, and I know this is a favorite of Lincoln's. Although, is it a song or is it just a poem? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. It is a song, except we changed the words in our, the beginning of our story time. What about head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And then I have, there was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, those songs are actually poems or rhymes just put together with music. So what we're going to do today is I'm gonna to toss the cube up in the air and then we're gonna see what song lands on top and we're gonna sing it. Are you ready? Here we go. Ah, do you know the song? If you're happy and you know it, can you do it with me? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Do you know what the second line is? You're not gonna be able to see me do it, but you're gonna be able to hear me. You can stand up and stomp your feet. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Now you probably can't see it, but I am smiling behind my mask. Now, one more verse, it says, shout hooray. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! Now we have to do all three things together with our if you're happy and you know it. Can you do it? If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! Oh, good job. Let's see, let's try another song. Let's see if I can come up with another one. Turn it, oh, look what we got. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Will you sing that one with me? Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. 
Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <gasps> that reminds me, I wasn't following my plans and I forgot something I was going to do with Jack and Jill. Oh well. We're going to do another song. I'm going to throw the cube around. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, we got bingo. Do you know the bingo song? I don't have the letters up here. They're very tiny. I don't know if you can see them. I'll try it. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, we'll sing it again. And this time let's clap each one of the letters. I'm not gonna take letters away. We'll just clap all the letters for bingo. And you notice the rhyme, the rhythm, it makes you want to sing and dance and sway. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, let's see. Let's see if we can get another one of those songs that we know on here. I'm going to toss it up in the air. Oh, I'm so glad I got that one. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I'm going to try to stand up and go way back here and do that song. If I'm back here, can you see me do all the parts? Can you do it with me? Are you standing up? Because we're going to do our head our shoulders, our knees, and our toes. Are you stretched up, ready to do it? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Now, if I wasn't having such a scratchy throat, I'd say, let's do it again and see if we can go faster. But I don't think I'll be able to breathe with my mask and cough and sing at the same time. You can try it at home. See if you can come up with some other songs that you know. And maybe you can put them on a piece of paper, stick them in a, in a bowl, and pull it out and see which song you're gonna sing. Maybe you'll get zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. You'll have to see. Okay, I wanted to write some poetry because it sounds kind of scary to write poetry. I hear preschoolers, maybe you can't write, but you know what? You can help come up with rhyming words. You can actually make one of the simplest poems there is. I'm gonna bring my table back up here again because we're gonna use this bucket this time. In my bucket, I have some paint chips. I just went to the painting department at the store and I pulled out some pretty colors of paint chips. Can you tell what colors I have here? I have, what's this one? What color is that? It matches my mask. It's my theme for tomorrow. Green, I have a green paint chip. Ooh, what about this one? This one matches my shirt. What color is my shirt? Blue, I have blue. Oh, and this bright sunny color, it's yellow. And then I have, I don't know, is it purple or is it pink? Or is it pink? <laughs> we can make up a new color for it. It says the colors are Pink, it's supposed to be orchid and pink at the bottom. What about these colors? Do you know what colors they are? They are two shades of brown. It's fun to go to the paint department and look at all the really great colors. But I just picked some of these and we're gonna, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna reach in here. I'm gonna pick out one of the paint chips. Ah, I got yellow. 
Now what I'm gonna do is go to my basket that I put lots of things in. We're going to make a list poem for the color yellow. Here is my paint chip. Remember, we're doing yellow. If I look in my bucket, is this yellow? No. Is this yellow? Yes! I have a yellow thing. Let's see, I have three different spots for yellow, so I'm gonna find three things. There's one. Is this yellow? <laughs> no, he's pretty white. Is, oh, I have another bean bag. Is it yellow? No, it's purple. <gasps> I have a marker. Is it yellow? Yes. Now I have two yellow things. I just need one more. Let's look in here. Oh, there's my pink, <laughs> my pink shark. to do bubbles but I think his bubble thing is is needs to be cleaned out he's pink yellow no orange <gasps> yellow yes I have a yellow ducky I have three yellow things now if I look in here I also have a green egg I have a black measuring cup I have a blue fish I have a blue rabbit oh, there's all kinds of things in here you could go around your house and find things to just throw into a basket and then see if you can match them. Here's my list poem. My color is yellow. So I'm going to write yellow is, there it is, I wrote yellow is. Yellow is, what is this? What did we say this was? <gasps> a rubber duck. So I'm going to write a rubber duck. I have to write on the table or you can't see it. Yellow is a rubber duck. What is this? It's a building block. Yellow is a building block. Write that down. Now, if you can't write, I bet you have an adult or an older brother or sister that could help you do it. Yellow is a rubber duck, a building block, and our last thing was a marker. So I'm gonna put it on here, a marker. We just wrote a poem, a simple poem called a list poem. Yellow is a rubber duck, a building block, and a marker. Very simple. Now you are going to get some of these color chips in your grab and go bag to take home. You can find things in your house, see if you can match them up. Or you're also going to get, here's another one I had yellow is, you're going to get a bunch of stickers. You can go through your stickers, okay. If I'm going to add stickers, yellow is not any of those things. Yellow is strawberries? No, yellow is not strawberries. Let's see, oh, look at this. Yellow is a dinosaur? Do you see any yellow dinosaurs on there? I see one that's kind of yellow. Let's see, I think this guy's got a yellow tummy. So I'm gonna put this dinosaur sticker on my yellow paint chip. So here he goes. There it goes right on there. Yellow is, is he a nice dinosaur or a mean dinosaur? Is he a small dinosaur or is he a large dinosaur? Yellow is a large dinosaur. Are, is that yellow? Nope, I don't see any yellow on there. Oh, look, I see a yellow on there. What is that? A smiley face. Yellow is, let me put it on there. A happy face. Yellow is a large dinosaur. A happy face. Let's see. Oh, yes. No, I want to do this one. Do you see my yellow flower? And I'm going to take it off there. I'm going to put my flower on here. Yellow is, is it a sour smelling flower or a sweet smelling flower? Yellow is a large dinosaur. 
a smiley happy face, and a sweet smelling flower. Although, I also have, <laughs> look at that. Is he a scary monster? Can I get it off there? Oh, I need my fingernails to do this. Is he a scary monster or a funny monster? I'm gonna put him on here, right in between. He doesn't have to be in one square, since I have room. Yellow is a large dinosaur, a smiley happy face, a silly monster, and a sweet smelling flower. You'll have fun with your paint chips and your stickers, putting things together. You're also going to have this little booklet called A Poem in Your Pocket. It's got a space for you to put your name. I forgot, I better put my name on there. A poem in Kathy's pocket. There it is. It's a little booklet, A Poem in Kathy's Pocket. Now, I have the cover, I have inside sheets. You want it to become a book, so you have string. You have some yarn. You can put your yarn through the holes. There's one. There's the other, there it is. Now I'm just gonna tie it together. <laughs> tie it with a bow. Can't do things upside down and backwards. I'm not coordinated. Okay, there it is. Now all my pages are together. A poem in Kathy's pocket. And you know what? I put one of my favorite poems inside your booklet. It's called Cat Kisses. Sandpaper kisses on a cheek or a chin. That is the way for a day to begin. Sandpaper kisses, a cuddle, a purr. I have an alarm clock that is covered with fur. And I do, I have an alarm clock covered with fur. You have all these other pages in here, you can Find some of your favorite poems and write them down. Or take some of the stickers. Here's some footprints. Put some of the stickers in there. Can you make rhyming words? If I had, if I put a foot sticker in there, let me just do that real quick. I can use my book to come up with rhyming words. What rhymes with foot? Foot. Um, I don't know what rhymes with foot. Foot, doot, moot, soot, toot, voot. Oh, we could make up rhyming words. That was kind of a hard one to come up with rhyming words. You could put your stickers in there and make rhyming words. Make nonsense words. Whatever you want to do. So it's inside your grab-and-go bag today. The stickers, the paint chips are in a baggie. Your booklet is in the baggie. Your yarn to put your booklet together. And today's... Poems, nursery rhymes, songs. See if you can come up with some fun rhyming poetry things. And if you need a little help, we have some books at the library. Tommy's Little Book of Poems. Tommy DePaulo has some great ones. In fact, that's where my favorite cat kisses came from. There's also Hey Diddle Diddle and other Mother Goose rhymes. <gasps> I'm going to tell Mama I want an iguana. I thought this was a story. It's got poems. Frogs, frogs, frog eggs, jelly dots, all sopping. One day they'll do lots of hopping. Oh, fun. Shout, little poems that roar. Giant children. Here's another rhyming book, Rufus and Friends Rhyme Time. There's also Mother Goose. We have a whole series. This one's Seeing Colors. Here's Mother Goose's Seasons. Here's the Random House Book of Mother Goose. If you don't know any of those nursery rhymes, remember if you can recite eight nursery rhymes by heart, no, four nursery rhymes by heart, if you can rhyme, say four nursery rhymes by heart. Oh, sure, I'm not going to find an easy one right off the bat. Four nursery rhymes by heart by the time you are eight, 
If you can remember, say by heart, four nursery rhymes, by the time you are eight, you will be a great reader. I don't remember. It's all on there. Here is the real Mother Goose. Let's see if I can find. Ah, here's a nursery rhyme I bet you know. Oops, this side. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with a spoon. See if you know any of the other nursery rhymes in one of the books. Well, my time is way past over. I hope you had fun with poetry. It really isn't scary. Poetry is a lot of fun. Singing, rhyming, doing nursery rhymes. And we have to do our closing song, which is another rhyme. Do you remember how it goes? Since we're done for today, let's do our song rhyme about See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Have a great rhyming day. Have a wonderful World Poetry Day on Sunday, and I'll see you later.